good morning dear students we have completed our discussion on the chapter of work for energy through online classes as well then i have given a pdf with some numericals but the reaction that i received from few students that they are not being able to follow those so this is an attempt to help you to understand those problems again first of all i have chosen two or three problems from the homework given then if time permits i can explain those problems which are done by me already the first one from the homework if that is problem number 7 the problem reads like a 100 meter long uniform iron chain of mass 100 kg per meter is hanging vertically downward at a point calculate the work done in winding the chain at its point of suspension that means suppose this is a chain ab its length is 100 meter it is hanging vertically from the point a and what is given that this is a uniform chain that is mass per unit length is constant same and that is given to be 100 kg per meter so the total mass of the chain is 100 into 100 kg that is tends to be about 4 kg what is being done this mass is this chain is being pulled here it is being taken to this point so this point b is suffering a rise of 100 meter but this point is suffering a rise to 0 meter if i take a point here which is 1 meter above the end point it is suffering a height of rise of height of 99 meter and this point 1 meter below the point of suspension it is suffering a rise of height of 1 meter and in this way we can consider as if the whole chain is suffering a rise through 15 meter that is what i have written net rise of the center of gravity of the chain this for this uniform chain its center of gravity will lie at the midpoint of the chain that is g that means it was 50 meter below the point of suspension and it is being taken here so it is suffering a rise to 50 meter therefore now we can easily consider as if the total mass of 24 kg kg is being raised to 50 meter as if the total mass of 24 kg kg is being raised to 50 meter and in that case it is being raised against the force of gravity so we can easily write that the work done in winding the chain is equal to mg h that is equal to 24 kg into 9.8 by g is the value of acceleration due to gravity i have taken it to 9.8 meter per second square into 50 this will be joule why joule because this is kilogram this is meter per second square and this is meter that is kilogram into meter per second square is newton into meter is joule so the total amount of work done is 49 into 10 to the power 5 joules that's how we can solve this type of problem this should help, help you to understand the fourth problem done in this exercise where i have taken that a number of bricks are lying in this way and those are being arranged i have done it calculate the amount of work done for each and every individual brick for the first brick no work is being done for the second I have considered that if it is suffering a rise of height, that is equal to the height of the brick. The second one is rise, another one is rise six. The third one is nine in this, and that's how we have calculated the work done for all the ten bricks. For the first one, it is zero. For the second, it is suffering a rise of height of three centimeter. That's how we have done, and then we have added us. you can also consider you can also do it you see the idea of center of gravity because when all of them are lying on the ground their center of gravity is lying only at a height of 1.5 cm 
and when you are making a hip like this, the need center of gravity is of 60 cm. Its center of gravity will be at a height of 15 cm from the ground. Therefore, the net increase in height is 15 minus 1.5 cm, 13.5 cm. Using this idea, in this way, you can also solve the problem. I think it would help you. Next. I have taken another one problem where I shall use the conservation of energy principle that I have taken problem number 10 given in your PDF. A rifle bullet loses one sixteenth of its velocity in passing through a wooden board. Find through how many such uniform boards it would pass before being stopped. Assuming the resistances of the board to be uniform. So, I have taken the uniform boards kept one after another. And a rifle bullet, it strikes those element of boards with a velocity u. And let's let the mass of the bullet be m. So, its initial kinetic energy is half m u square. After penetrating through one board, it loses one sixteenth of its velocity. That means its velocity after penetrating through one board will be u minus u by 16. That is 15 u by 16. That is 15 u by 16. So kinetic energy here that is equal to half m into 15 u by 16 horsepower. Therefore, why has this kinetic energy been lost? Actually, it has been used in doing what? Against the force resistance offered by this bullet board. If we consider that the thickness of each board is x unit, then as the bullet penetrates to x unit through this board, the work done is f into x. The work done is f into x. And using the work energy theory or conservation of energy principle, I can write work done by the rifle bullet in penetrating through one plan board is equal to its loss of kinetic energy. That is f into x is equal to half a u square. That is the kinetic energy here minus half m 15 u by 16 volt square that is the kinetic energy after penetrating through one volt and on calculation we shall get if I consider that this bullet will be able to penetrate through n number of such boards kept one after another that means it will pass through a length in x it will pass through a thickness in x and the resistance of the board is considered to be uniform that is given to be f so I can write f dot in x and after penetrating it, it is being stopped so it will lose its total kinetic energy that is half a u square so f into n x that is the total work done by the right hand plate penetrating through n number of boards is f into n x that is equal to its total loss of kinetic energy that is equal to its initial kinetic energy that is half a u square because after penetrating through n boards it stops so its total kinetic energy has been used up now if I divide this one by this f n x by f x that is equal to n will be equal to 2 into 256 by 31 a u square by half a u square and on calculation if you do it you will easily get it 256 by 31 because half a u square half a u square will cancel out and you will get 256 by 31 and on calculation I think we will get 8 whole 8 by 31 8 whole 8 by 31 that is in a whole it will be able to penetrate through 8 whole 8 by 31 number of boards it will be able to penetrate through 8 whole 8 by 31 number of boards next I am taking up another one problem 
that has been done there, which is These sort of problems are very important for our examination purpose as well. A pump can raise 54 liter of water to a height of 100 meter in one minute. If the pump uses 80 percent of its specified power, find out the specified power of the pump. So first of all, let us calculate the effective power. What is the amount of power done in one minute? work done in one minute that is equal to this water is being raised to a height of it is being raised to a height of 100 meter and its mass is 54 liter its volume is 54 liter we can consider its mass is 54 kilograms because we can consider that the mass of 1 liter of pure water is 1 kilogram and it is being raised to a height of 100 meter therefore work done in 1 minute is 54 into 9.8 for convenience I can take it as 10 approximately this will give us approximate value into 100 This is the amount of work done in one minute. This is the amount of work done in one minute. Therefore, the power will be power can be written as 54 into 10 into 100 by 60 joule per second. That is equal to 900 watt 900 watt so this is effective power that is at this rate it is working but what is given specified power what does specified power mean if you buy an electrical accessory you can see that one power is written there like in case of bar you will find on its 60 watt is written that means it will work or it will give you light at, at the rate of 60 joule in every one second. But always that is not obtained because no machine is there having 100% efficiency. It will consume electrical energy at the rate of 60 joule per second but it will not be able to deliver that. It will not be able to give you back that. So that is what is written. So if the specified power is P, what? Let us consider that the specified power is P1. Then actually we are getting 80% of it. So I can write 80% of P is equal to 900. Therefore, 8 by 10 into P is equal to 900. So P is equal to 9000 by 8. P is equal to 9000 by 8 and if you divide it will give us 1125 watt. That means we can write that the specified power of the pump is 1125 watt. The specified power of the pump is 1125 watt. Therefore the specified power Specified power of the pump is 1125 watts. I think you can understand it, you can follow it. Next.
I'm going to problem number 11. Next, problem number 11. A body of mass 5 2 kg is dropped freely from a height. It is dropped freely from a height 100 meter above the ground. 100 meter above the ground. Calculate the kinetic energy and potential energy of the body 4 seconds later. So that the kinetic energy gained by the body is equal to its loss in potential energy. So we can easily do it. It is falling through 4 seconds. And U is equal to 0. So the height falling through. The height falling through. That is H is equal to half gt square. H is equal to half gt square. From U T plus half gt square, U is equal to 0. So I can write H is equal to half into 10 into 16. That is equal to 80 meter. H is equal to 80. That means this is 80 meter. This is equal to 80 meter. I have taken G to be 10. I have taken the value of G to be 10 meter. So potential energy here. That is 2 into 10 into 100 joule. So 2000 joule. Therefore, velocity acted here is U is equal to U plus GT that is equal to 0 plus 10 into 4 that is equal to 40. So, velocity acted by it is here 40 meter per second. So, kinetic energy after 4 seconds is equal to half m u square that will be half into 2 into 1600 that is equal to 1600 joule that is 1600 joule potential energy after 4 seconds That is equal to 2 into 10 into 20. This is 20 meter. That is 400 joule. So what do we see? Loss of potential energy is equal to 2000 minus 400 joule that is equal to 1600 joule and what do we see? what is the kinetic energy again? that is the kinetic energy of the body here that is equal to 1600 so that is equal to gain in kinetic energy so it is proof that means what we have proved that as it falls to some height for 4 seconds it gains some kinetic energy and the gain in kinetic energy here is equal to loss of kinetic energy of the body as it falls from this height. Okay? So I think this will help you and that I must conclude this chapter 1 for energy. If you have any query till now, you can confirm us before the next online class is coming to be, coming to be there. And uh, I can help you. Otherwise, you should start with heat in the next chapter class. Till then, have a very good day.